Sora going all the Ooh, way to the other side of the rift. <laughs> but I will say that was huge. Okay, fair and uh, awesome. There. Uh, what? Sorry for the pause timing. Don't know what is happening. We're lagging a little bit, but that was. Heels and heels will come out from Himbo Stevo. As. Ooh, there we go. Well, there's the knockup as well. The route onto um, Son of Ragnar going to be the key ADC to fall. And that's going to be a chaotic fight under tower. But Fiederberry is able to hold the doors once again. Atio is running. And here comes the flash from Paterina. Is he going to be able to get away? No, he's not. The route goes live. And look, here comes Bobler. Knock up, airborne, stun, and down. Okay, the Baron has done enough there. It's able to defend. Great picks. They're over forcing now on the side of uh, DVX. They need to just start playing slow. They don't have the Baron to end out this game. It was stolen away. They're just getting picked off one by one and overstepping more and more. With that, um, with those shutdowns though, Fiederberry is so far ahead. Accelerating this gold. Almost completed the four items with the death cap. With the void stuff coming soon. Will this Drake fight be the last one? Well, not the last one. It might be. It's all soul point for the side of DVX. I mean, Monkey Sports are keeping the game alive right now. It doesn't matter how much gold they are down because really it just feels like as long as this Ziggs is alive to hold the fort, keep the minions at bay, what can DVX actually do? Because this. The anti-push is just so strong, and they thought they had it there. I think they, th they do have Baron. I'd really like them to be able to push out more with the Baron buff. They still have it live. And they just start up the Drake instead, seeing if they can fish for a hook. Well, they need to be able to prevent this Soul Michael. Otherwise, it's just going to be Fort Knox to be able to push their Soul. And DVX are running over. Wait. They might have the steal hit. It's oh, not enough. Him to take it. And there we have it. Whopper King not really finding the smite fight in their favor. But Tovia, he's still going for a fight here. It's a 1v5. And he finds the ult onto Pobla, but it's not going to be doing any justice. That being said, a triple Nico knockup is going to save the fight for a little longer. Tovia's still up. Double knockup to go. And this healing from Cassante is just absolutely base. broken. A base. Can Fiederberry? The, the backwards base. Tobia has just been keeping the rest of the monkeys at bay. Oh. And Fletcher does the final blow to the Nexus. <laughs> it's a game that is in the hands of DVX once again. And they win this best of three with flying colors. Who are we witnessed a pentakill. That last fight was so... It was scuffy. I'm not sure who was winning. And then Fletcher was just running down mid and... Monk thought they had it. They do get the Drake, but then the Who? fight afterwards is so back and forth. Who, it wasn't enough for them. Monkey Sports do go down, unfortunately. O2 going in the side of DVX, and that answers the question for today. E U N E are on top just for today. We might see a rematch later on in this uh, in the Phoenix League, but tonight they take it. Yeah, they do take the dub tonight. You're absolutely right, Mike Cool. But Mike the thing cool. is, Mike Cool. Very cool, Mike Cool. As but, opposed uh, to you. you know, you right, go color, on, you go on. You know. I'm going to ask Prod to uh, show us the, the bracket now. Now that we've witnessed that, I'm stuck on the victory screen. Here it is. Look at it. There we see it. It is... Uh, you could you, you, you tell us tell us tell us what, who's uh, who's joining oh, uh, hey i will happily Steven tell X you Academy so right now in that top stage of swiss we have the cozy campers totally taking the series in game number one against mentally stable in something uh and if, in a 2-1 game so a lot closer than what we saw just now uh, the dutch community is still going against ins esports with Coven Fox uh, winning one game against the Cozy Campers. And then Divinex Academy, once again, beating Monkey's Sports. Uh, Par for the Rift. T 
to owing team mental gaff it seems like their mental wasn't quite in the game today <laughs> and project zenith 2-1 against flame hard academy uh it seems like the flame dwindled for that one and the way of the smite was able to be outlandish esports so you know we've had quite a few uh two o's here today even so very interesting there from the side uh or for the phoenix league some two o games kind of uh Assessing the competition. Mm -hmm. It's lovely to see. We're only on week one and already we're starting to see it. And it's not over for them. Even if you do go down, it, there's still plenty of chance to be able to kind of pull off a reverse sweep. And that is the end for today. Thank you for everyone in chat for uh, predicting, for watching, for having fun. Thank you for the teams, for letting us witness that cinema. Huge chat, honestly. And I want to say, how can you not say MVP? Swap the king, honestly. When you get a pentakill, it's a bit biased, but Devoya also doing great work on the side of the top lane. And join us on Sunday. We have Dutch community team versus INS Esports. Same time, it is seven o'clock CST. Remember that one. CST for us. Not sure if I'll be on the cast. I don't know who, who who's gonna be casting, but stick around for that. It's gonna be a treat. It always is on the Phoenix League. And we'll see you Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>